the production was also really unorthodox. So it, mm-hmm. it demanded an unorthodox mix, right? Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. demanded the mix to be in that space to even make it make sense. And so that really started with Drake being the one to stop me from finishing the production of the record. Because mm-hmm. a lot of the times when I'm producing a record, I'm thinking of it as a mixer. So I'm listening to it saying, well, cool but it's missing too many frequencies like there's too many sonic holes in this like Mm -hmm. i need to fill this out i've got way more work to do i need to add the progressions and the timing and the pieces and there's so much more to this you know and and drake really like stopped me in my tracks to be like no 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 no, stop 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 don't touch it right so i think that put me in a position where the mix had to be really just different so it pushed Mm -hmm. boundaries because the actual production of the song sort of called for it i think most importantly 